Pull up my ass, can't get VH Trevi Trev. I'm hopping out the porch with Dirty Glove Bassett. Yeah. I'm from the DMV, where the DM really don't claim the V. The niggas V8 still finna eat. All right, so we got Trevi Trev off the porch with us today. What's up, man? How you? I'm feeling great. How you feeling today, man? I'm cool, man. ATL, the vibe's lit out here. There you go, man. Yeah. yeah. The vibe's lit. You come down here pretty often or not too much? It's my first time for real, like. Really? It's my first time out here. It's a different atmosphere, you know what I mean? Okay. And then being a rapper, like, everybody very, like, welcome, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I went to the club yesterday. It was, like, local artists in that zone. It was, like, it was lit. Nah, that's the place to be right now, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, so talk to us about life in Woodbridge, Virginia, man. Man, that's the thing. People don't really know about Woodbridge because it's, like, it's right, like, I'm going to say, like, in the middle or outside, like, Maryland and D.C., so okay. like you know, DC got their rappers, you know what I'm saying? Maryland got their rappers, so they just overlooked the Woodbridge area. You know what I mean? Then we got Alexandria too, you know, Richmond Highway. So it's like when when people say DMV, they really just think about DC and Maryland. They don't think about like Virginia. So mm -hmm. when they say DMV, they leave the V out. But we really got some talent in there, you know. It's just like everywhere else, you feel me? Like, you know, check it get dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, everything, suing killings, all that, but just like everywhere, you know what I mean? So Yeah, I feel that. So what was your childhood like? Uh, what were you into growing up? I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was like a five-star athlete. Okay. Yeah, I was playing football. I love the field. Uh, my mom had me in sports, you know. She raised three, three boys by herself, you feel me? So she had me in sports, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what, that was my focus for real, football. That was my focus as a child. How long did you play? I played like, I played, so I played little league, and I had stopped for a little bit, then I played when I was in high school, so like, Ninth grade to my twelfth grade year. I okay. thought I was gonna be like a college athlete, you know what I'm saying? If I would've knew back then what I know now, I'd have just been started rapping or been on like getting money stuff, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I feel that. At what age would you say you jumped off the porch? I ain't gonna lie, I probably jumped off the porch like I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't gonna cap like everybody. I probably jumped off the porch like sixteen, I ain't even gonna lie. Cause like I said, I was playing football, you know what I mean? I was playing football. I knew I knew you know what I'm saying, but the street life was like, but I was like, man, I'm trying to take a different route. I'm trying to play football because my people, they already already seen all that. I'm trying to make it make different for, for what we had, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna feel with it. You know what I'm saying? Then I hopped in the field at like sixteen, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how it was. I feel that. And you went to college, right? Yeah, I went to college. I went to uh West Houston, Delaware. I played football there. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I had uh tore my appendix. You know what I'm saying? Oof. They cut me off the football team, crushed my whole dream. Ah, you damn. feel me? Crushed my dream. I'm like, dang. So I just went back a little bit, you know, started rapping. Like, me and my brother, Free Kwan, he, we was like, we was cutting grass to get, like, money for studio time. And yeah. I just I just felt the passion for it after that. Because it's like, for me, like, everything I do, I got to, like, go hard or go home, you know what I mean? So, like, football, I was going hard. And then, like, rapping, I started going hard, like, putting all my money towards it. Even had a nine to five just trying to go to the studio, you know what okay. I'm saying? Paper music videos, so yeah. that's how it was. Oh, man, if you don't invest in yourself, how can you expect anyone else exactly. to invest in yourself, too, man? You know what I'm saying? That's real. And uh, I understand, um, you know, you got some cases that are pending. Of course, yeah. we won't go into the details. Yeah. But how does how does that affect you mentally? So for real, you just gotta, uh, man, you just gotta keep your head above water. Like, you know, people people be bashing me on the internet, you know, this and that. But I just I just I overlook that shit. To me, like, you know what I'm saying? I would rather somebody. I would rather somebody. Oh, you trying to cut it? You trying to cut it right there? Yeah. Uh, what I was about to say. I rather people talk about me than not talk about me, you know what I mean? So like with the with the cases pending, I just I just gotta watch what I post on the internet, you know, stuff like that. But I'm still going hard with the music stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And it was like a, it was like a big it was it was big in my where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? They was on the internet trying to like bash me on the internet where I'm from. You oh, know, really? all the blogs, you know, DMV Hoods and News and all yeah. that. They try to bash me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All that. So it was like big where I'm from in the DMV area. Does that bother you when you start hearing people talk about you or the rumors or anything? Let or? me be honest, bro. I like it for real. I ain't gonna lie. I, I feel like all controversy, good controversy, but that's a bad bone to have on your back, though. You know what I'm saying? Being a snitch. You know what I'm saying? But I know, I know what it is, but I'm not. Come on, man. My my supporters still, my supporters still rock with me. They know what it is. The real know what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, like like I said, all controversy, good controversy. As long as they talk about you, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I feel that, man. Yeah. What would you say has been one of the biggest life lessons you had to learn in your life so far? Biggest life lesson? Uh, man, you can't, you can't trust everybody. Yeah, you can't trust everybody. Cause like, man, some, some stuff happened when I was locked up, you know what I'm saying? I think it was somebody that was close to me, but I don't really know, you feel me? But I just, I just can't, I don't be trusting nobody no more. I feel like I got PTSD now, like, 
I, I don't trust nobody. I wake up on my sleep all day. I don't trust nobody. Like anybody. Like I barely even trust my own family. Like that's, that's how crazy it is. Like for real. I don't trust nobody. But that's my biggest life lesson. You know what I'm saying? Just don't, just don't trust nobody. Uh, everybody shake your hand is a friend. You know what I mean? But yeah. So were you making music before college or how long have you been doing it? Nah, so this is what happened. Um, so basically, like when I was in high school playing football, I remember I said I played football in high school. Every time I would be in the locker room getting ready for the games, Friday night, my like my teammates would tell me, like, bro, you know every word to every, you know what I'm saying, song, you might as well start rapping. I'm like, bro, I don't even rap, you know, I like doing that. But I'm talking about every song that came on, Lil Wayne, you know, what was back back in the day? Uh, you know, Drake, every song came on. I was rapping every word. They like this. So then after that, you know what I'm saying? I went to college, you know, that didn't work out. So that's when I just started making music. First it was like for some play stuff. Then I started taking it serious. I've been rapping for like, I'm gonna say four years. I'm okay. saying four years. Yeah. You just gotta be patient though. Like I understand you gotta be patient. It don't come overnight. Cause I ain't from Atlanta. You feel me? I'm from Woodbridge, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's gonna take some time. I got you. Trevi Trev, I just think that's probably your real name or how'd you come up with that? Yeah, I mean, Trevi Trev, like when I was, when I was young, I used to live in Maryland. They just gave me the nickname Chubby Trev. Just put the wires on the end, you know. But you know they call me the King of VA though. That's that's what I go by, the King of VA. Okay. So how would you describe your sound of the music that you make then? Uh, my sound. Man, what's my sound? I'm gonna say uh, I ain't even gonna say trap music. I'm gonna say hip hop. I, I got straight hip hop music like, like uh, I ain't like, I don't even know like. My sound like, it's like, like when you hear my song, when you hear my song, you gonna know it's me. You know what I'm saying? Some people might say I sound like somebody else, but I feel like it's me. So I just, I don't know. My song is a vibe for real. Like my sound is that. Like you know what I'm saying? I switch the flow like multiple times in one song. You know what I mean? I like doing that. And I like, you got, I make the beat. I don't let the beat make me like, you know what I'm saying? I don't find the beat first. I like, I hear, I write my lyrics first. Not write my lyrics, I hear it in my head and then I get a beat. You know what I mean? Okay. That's how I do it. I got you. So what's your thoughts on the rap game and the music industry right now? Like the music industry, uh, it's, it's turned up. It's a lot of like, it's a lot of people getting on like, like fast, you know what I'm saying? So it's turned up right now. It's not as hard as it was back in the day. It's like easier now. You can get viral on TikTok and be famous, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. So that, that's, I like it like that. Cause it's easier for everybody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. What's the meaning behind the bandana, man? I bandana? see you always rocking the bandana. You know I always got you bandana. Uh, I don't know, I just like it. It's like my style. I feel like as an artist, you got to have an image. You know what I mean? Like, you got to have an image because if, if they don't notice, like, like say if I drop a video and they notice this, they don't, you're not going to know me, but if you notice that, you're like, oh, that's, that's bro right there. You might not know me, but you're going to know it's me, though. Like, when I, like, around my area, I be posting, like, stickers up. I forgot to bring some out here for real, but got my little sticker. So when people see them, if they don't know me, they seen me before, and all you gotta do is get for them to keep saying you, and that's when they gonna know you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you gotta have an image, like, I just gotta keep the bandana on, like, I almost freaked out, because I thought I forgot when I came out here. Really? You can ask, bro, I almost freaked out. I was like, oh, bro, I gotta go back. But yeah, I had them with me, though. I mean, I got like endless man now. I ain't gonna like a rainbow collection. <laughs> it's crazy, for real. I was gonna ask, how many do you think you got? Bro, I like, you probably gonna think I'm lying. I probably got like a hundred. Okay. But it's like different, multiple colors, though. You know what I'm saying? So what's the music scene like in Woodbridge? What's going on up there? Well, baby, I mean, you know, you got a lot of people that's lit. Um, it's a lot of people that's lit. Uh, we we got a chance for real. You know what I mean? I feel like me. I ain't, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be humble when I say this. I feel like I opened a lot of artists' eyes in Woodbridge area when I started driving nonstop. You know what I'm saying? And people started recognizing me. So I feel like everybody started driving more. So I like that. Like yeah. people be driving. Like what are you driving? But we just need that one person to kick the door down. You know what I'm saying? Um, just like Memphis, you know how Memphis is going crazy right now. Mm -hmm. They had one person on everybody. But then that one person got to be good though. So so then they're looking in the Woodbridge area. You know what I'm saying? Cause when people say VA, y'all think of like Norfolk and like Richmond and like Portsmouth and all that. Yeah. Well, but my part of VA, we on the north. We we in Nova. You know what I'm saying? Northern Virginia, right outside DC and Maryland. So we kind of different than them, but and we got a different sound too. So yeah, we we live out there for. Do you get a lot of support back at home? Say it one time. Do you get a lot of support back at home? Oh yeah, most definitely. Brian gonna hold you. Every time I go to Woodbridge, bro, I probably see like five pictures a day. Like real loud. Like when I just go to the gas station, like you can ask them like every time they with me, I take a picture. Like it's normal now. Yeah, they support me. But then also a lot of people like hate on me. But like I said, you know, all controversy, that's good. I don't care. Yeah. But the support, yeah, they definitely support me. But why do you think people overlook the town in Virginia? Uh 
Hold on, my bad. Say that one more time. You say a lot of people. Why do people overlook the talent oh, over, right, in bad. Virginia? Cause they overlook us. Cause like, it's like when, like Woodbridge or just VA. Woodbridge. Either one. Either one. I'm a, even I'm, Virginia kind of gets over. Yeah, I don't you know. know. We got for real. We got, you know what I'm saying? We got all them. But that was a while ago. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. That's it's been a while, while since like a new rapper yeah, has blown so up out of VA. They overlook us, bro. I know why, bro. I ain't gonna, people going to be mad at me, but for real, for real, bro. We need our own sound. Like, I rarely our own sound. You see what I'm saying? We can't just say the DMV sound. You know what I'm saying? We, like, we got to have our own sound. Like Atlanta, they, I feel like they got their own sound. Memphis got their own sound. I just think VA, we just need our own sound overall, you know what I mean? And then they just look at VA as a whole, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody, like, you can go to different parts of VA, all of us sound kind of different. Like, we're Briz, Alexander, we all sound like, you know what I'm saying? DMV, but you got, you know, <clears throat> Norfolk and Richmond, and they sound like they from, like, you know what I'm saying? The South, like, where they are from the South, but you know what I'm saying? So we just got to have our own sound, then we'll blow up. Yeah. I That's what I feel like. I got you. All right, so got a bunch of new videos out, man. Let's start with this No Pressure. What can you tell us about this song? Oh, that No Pressure, uh, JBA Boy shot that drum. That's my mind. We locked in. Uh, basically, uh, that's one of the first times I recorded when I uh, when I came home from jail. And I was just trying to set the record straight a little bit, not not really getting into too much of my case. I ain't want to die myself on like that. But um, yeah, I said that drum. I said that drum. That's on. That's on lit. I need to go get that. That's on hot. It's at like five thousand views right now. I think. So I'll be like. Uh, a month ago, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. And what about Lit Kit, man? I know this one went up a few years ago. Oh, yeah, that zone went up. Yeah, Free Reggie Red. Uh, that zone went up, man. When I when I dropped that, <clears throat> that's when everybody started looking at me. You know what I'm saying? That was just a, oh, JVA shot that too, but that was like a running gun zone, last minute zone, like last minute. He was, we was in a rush and all that. I think we shot that zone like what? 10? About 15 minutes? No, I'm sorry. Probably like, Bro, we started that zone fast, bro, but that zone went up out of nowhere. I posted it, everybody was going crazy. Everybody was going crazy. Y'all need to go listen to that zone, because that zone hard. Okay. Did you expect that one to go up like it did? I did, because the other artist, he had a, he had a little name already, and my name was coming up, so I knew what I was doing. I already knew that zone was going to go up. I ain't even going to lie. Every song me and him drop, go up, though. That's the whole kid, like every song. Okay. Yeah. What every is- song, you know what I'm saying? And then every video, you know, J.V.A. shoot the zone, so that zone going go up, too. Yeah. And what about VA, man? This one did pretty uh, good numbers too. That don't shot by JVA too. Uh, that don't, yeah, I was just based on that song. I don't know if you know, but like in the DMV area, the DC and Maryland part, they hate claiming us, bro, I swear. And we don't care though, we don't care, we don't really care. But that's what I'm like, bro. I made a song like, we don't care. I said, I'm from the DMV, where the DM really don't claim the V, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of backlash off that, cause, uh, all the blogs was posting it. And they was like, oh, he 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 signed forget DC and Maryland. But I'm like, bro, I'm just saying, we we doing what y'all doing, but I'm just I'm rubbing my I'm rubbing my state. You know what I'm saying? That's only like once like 30k. Okay, yeah. I'm like 30,000 views, but yeah, that's only it. Yeah, because I know a lot of people from the DC, they don't like to claim the DMV, man. They just want to yeah, rap for the DC. DC. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't I don't really I don't see what the issue. You know what I'm saying DMV, I I think it sounds lit. I think it's only when I come out here, I tell them I'm from the DMV. You know what I'm saying? Because I be thinking that if I say VA, they're not going to know. But I'm about to start saying VA, man. I got you. What about Drop Part 2, man? Drop Part 2? Oh, yeah, that jump high. Uh, that jump, that was a sequel to the Part 1 jump. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That jump went up, too. Uh, we were dancing a lot in that video. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was when I was turned up last year around like around like Thanksgiving. I was just, it was fourth quarter. Every time it's fourth quarter, I got to go hard. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's um, yeah, produced by Ricky Rick. That's my brother, Ricky Rick. He do all my beats, so you know what I'm saying? Okay. And what about early morning, man? Early morning? Yeah. These are the videos, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, early morning. That's on how to see. Uh, to me, that was like I like that song because it sounds a little different for me. Like in the videos, that zone was hot. It's a running gun zone. Uh, actually, that was a bro. That was the song I. Shot right after I got out of jail. Like, that's the song I shot right out of. And I had a little skit in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Because people was on the internet trying to bag me. I had a little skit in the beginning. And I was just like, basically, like, addressing it on a little skit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that zone was hot. That zone. Yeah, y'all need to go get that too, for real. So, what's the next single you plan to drop? Uh, matter of fact, I'm trying to drop a mixtape next. Not no single. Or an album. Got okay. An album next. Uh, 
I'm, I'm gonna hold off on a single. I'm gonna drop an album, and then after the album, I'm gonna drop some, uh, drop some video. I don't know yet though which one. You got a title picked out for the album with the yeah, mixtape? King of VA. I just dropped the uh, cover um, yesterday. Okay. Yeah, everybody comment on his own because I had like the the Virginia flag, but I'm the person on it. Like I'm standing on the dude. You ever seen the Virginia flag? Uh, I you can't remember it off the top of my head. You gotta look it up, but I'm the dude that's standing on the guy, like on the flag. Like it's the flag, but I'm on it. That's on hard. Yeah. So I'm the, I feel like I'm the king of VA, so you know what I'm saying? Get some backlash for that. Yeah, but it was con bro, I had <laughs> the, in the first 30 minutes, I had like 140 people. Like, you know how on Instagram you can see a little insights mm -hmm. and a little triangle where you're sending it to somebody in a DM? Yeah. I had like 140 people send that on. I'm like, yeah, they talking. <laughs> but I don't care. Like I said, all controversy. You know, I like it. I don't care. Yeah. So what type of vibe should we expect on this project then? It's gonna be no features, I know that. Because okay. I'm trying I'm the king, so I'm just trying to have me on there. <laughs> but uh just the vibe, like different vibes. Cause on my other um albums, I usually just I don't get out of my comfort zone. Well on versatile flows and all that, I be out of my comfort zone because it's versatile. But on my regular albums, I like don't be out of my comfort zone. But this song I'm doing different beats, different beats from everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start um reaching out. Probably get some beats from some producers out here and all that. It's gonna sound real different, so it's gonna be like people gonna be on their toes, they're not gonna know what's coming. Yeah. So when do you think you'll drop the project then? Uh, I don't even know yet. I don't even got no date. I don't, I don't even got no, uh, no date yet. Okay. I don't even got no date. Are you sitting on one song that you're really excited to release? Yeah, I am. It's the intro on the tape. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a, matter of fact, I'm about to shoot that zone. I'm about to shoot that zone today. I think I'm about to shoot that zone today, fine. But I'm going to just hold that zone. Yeah. I ain't trying to tell them too much, because I know my little, you know what I'm saying, they going to be on this zone. I love my supporters, though. I don't look, as me, as an artist, I don't call my supporters fans. I call them supporters, because I would hate for an artist to call me a fan. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, if somebody call you a fan, it's like, bruh. But I say supporters, like, all my artists, they supporters. Like, I mean, all my, all my supporters support You know what I'm saying? People that support me, they support they ain't fans. Yeah. That's how I see it. I feel that. Yeah, talk about the grind that comes with being an independent artist, also. It's lit. Um, it's, you get the full experience. Like, uh, like, like I, I actually got to buy my own stickers, you know what I'm saying, post them up, you know what I'm saying? If I want to make t-shirts, I got to do all that. I got to um, upload my song to DistroKid, you know what I'm saying? I, um, I pay for everything, you know what I mean? So I, I like it, though. I like being independent because all the money, I feel like when I do start getting big breaks, it's all mine. Like, that's how I like. Yeah, you don't have to cut that check with yeah, anyone, man. You yeah. get that full 100%. It's so exactly. a nice feeling. Uh-huh. Yep. But I ain't going to hold you. If somebody... Somebody try to sign me. I'm in love with the music, so I might just sign for real, for real. Like, hey, yeah. somebody try to sign me. If you were to sign, what do you look for out of a label? Uh, yeah. I'm sure I'll be... I mean, I just want them to make me like, make me like, you know, I want to have a lot of bread, but I also want to be, I want to get longevity too. Like, I want to be like, I want to be one of them artists. I, I, be, I be thinking like, I, like labels be like, Holding on to artists like songs sometimes and they can't really drop how they want. I don't want them to do that to me. I want them I want me to like just be able to do what I want. Like these some of these artists be dropping when they want. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really too familiar with no 360, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? I got you. What else you working on? What else is coming up for you, Trail? Uh endless videos still. Um probably gonna make some clothes, get make some merch, you know what okay. I mean? Um, I'm gonna knock all these interviews, you know what I'm saying? This is the first one I had to tap in with too. I'm probably gonna get the, um, some more interviews from like big names and stuff. Get some free. I'm trying to tap in with some artists out here for real, like, so everything for real. Anyone specific you wanna work with? I don't really know that many, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta plug me in. Good show. Cause I'll be watching your interviews and I'll be like, I'll be like, let me see what he on, you know what I'm saying? I'll be damning people, but some, some, some people damn me back, but. You guys, let me know who out here so I can work with some people. Yeah, I got you. All right, so any last words, any shout outs before we wrap it up? Man, I'm trying to uh, free my mind, free free Quan, free Smeg. They locked down right now. Some bullshit has done. Uh, you know, shout out JVA, shout out my brother Rick, shout out my whole family, shout out the whole Woodbridge area I'm trying to put on for, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's it. That's it right there, you know, big chubby chair. Yeah, sir. <laughs> I'm from the DMV, where the DM really don't claim the V. Fuck them niggas, VA still finna eat. Them niggas prepping now, but they sweet. Don't be scared.